Hello everyone, and today I'll be showing you how I clean a marching baritone. Okay, the first step, obviously, take it out of the case. Now, I have a large towel here. This towel, it doesn't really matter what kind of towel it is, because it really won't be getting dirty, it will just be getting wet. But it'd be safe if you had like a large, not like a junk towel, but just a towel that isn't like your showering towels or your bath towels. Now this is like, is what we in my house call a junk towel. A towel that like we don't use for anything unless it's going to get like dirty or covered and stuff. Now this does not have to be a particular order. I do apologize for my autofocus, but take out all the valves. Now, some people might be like, don't lose your valves or order. But if you actually look, there we go. Basically the valve is, is labeled. There's a little three on there. It's really, so that's one thing I didn't really notice because you don't look for it. So one, your valve should all come out. Now, some easier than others. Mine come out very easily. Next, take the springs out. Doesn't really matter if you keep, well I just keep them with the, the valves they're with, but it's not really required. Yes, now the valves, I'm not gonna put this in a bath mainly because there are felts on here and that like, it's not bad for them, but it just wears them down really quickly because they condense and they become loud again way quicker than they would after they're new. <laughs> it should come out, but on most of the baritones that at least we have, this one is the first one to just not come out again, but one crucial step to cleaning is that they all come out. Easy or hard, they have to come out. This, not really everyone does, I do it. I think it's important to clean these because these can actually get pretty gummed up and if your springs start like sticking to them it's because these are too dirty. Like this isn't bad, but it's also not great. Like I've definitely seen worse. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not that much. You can't really get mix every, anything up because these two, tuning, and then this. I mean, everything can't really go in the wrong spot. Even if you like, if you try it, you can try to do this. But, but even with that, it's just too long. So everything does fit properly where it should. I'm gonna show you a little bathtub part. Okay, one thing you're gonna need is dish soap of some sort. Um, I got this at like the dollar store. This is fine, just cause I didn't really wanna steal my family's uh, dish soap anymore. And also it, uh, it smells pretty nice. What does this one smell like? It smells like candy or something. But I don't know, it smells better than dish soap to me. Cause dishes aren't meant to smell, they're meant to be clean. And the next step, is to, well you really need a bathtub. That's the one other thing, is put some soap in. Fill it up. Now, the very important part is the temperature. The temperature should not be hot. It should be just to where you notice it starts to feel warm. It shouldn't be any warmer than that. And now, realistically on most instruments, it's not gonna do much, but on a rare occasion, it can make your lacquer look really bad or at worst come off. That's gonna start filling up, so we're gonna start putting stuff in it. Now a bunch of people say put one of these big towels in the bathtub so it doesn't hit the floor, but realistically, it is brass, so it is metal, although not strong, but carefully, carefully setting it down in the bathtub will not hurt it. Orientation, I like to set it down this side down, which you never do outside of giving it a bath. Just because if you like set it down like this and someone like stepped on it when you're walking by, it's gonna ruin all of these. But in the terms of giving it a bath, these need to get water in them. This does not really, this is gonna fill up with water. So very carefully, set it in the water. And yeah, that's good. Now, grab all your slides. Now the springs, you don't really have to give a bath because it's super fine. You can, you, there are ways to clean the springs. This would also be a very smart time if you have your mouthpiece and you would like to clean it, to clean your mouthpiece. A clean mouth, cleaning your mouthpiece is not needed, but very recommended. And even these little caps, I'm gonna give these things a bath. Hi, kitty. Now, while that is doing its thing, I guess, I'm gonna show you guys how to clean the valves. Now you can run so, like soap in here just to make sure they're clean but my valves are pretty clean so I'm gonna rinse them just take one of these things you can get these on Amazon 
Mine is uh, some does. The thing I noticed is I like to stand them up like this a lot. Stand them up a lot, and I notice I knock them over a lot, which isn't like great for them. This one's a little dirty, actually. Make sure when you're doing any of this, clean up, because depending on how dirty your instrument is, it's gonna leave like muck everywhere, and you don't want that because it's kind of gross. Okay, that part is done. And now, you can go back to the bathtub and turn off the water. That's pretty full. So, again, you don't really have to submerge the whole bell, but I'm, what I want to do is I'm going to flip it over so I just so it can fill with water. I just heard it taking some water. And even then, this is fine because it's at, actually everything is submerged, so we're good. So let that submerge for, I want to say, 10 to 15 minutes. Some kid at my school said he did this for 40. I wouldn't like recommend that, but yeah. I'm gonna let that soak and we'll be back. It's been about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to spin it a couple of times. Now, I get asked the question occasionally, what way do you spin it? If you look at it, not the way the tubing goes, if you follow it, follow it backwards. So that if the bell goes this way, spin it this way so you're like pouring water out. And you wanna like dry it. Bathing instrument is way more important than polishing an instrument. Even if polishing makes it look good, cleaning it makes it feel and look good. And now while I'm drying that, I'm gonna hit the draining so the water can start on the out. All right, make sure to get here because this is like a, very, a spot forgotten about underneath the bell right there. I know I'm dry, I'm, tr I'm trying to dry this on camera, but I keep forgetting what I'm doing. Take one of these things, I'm going back to these, and run it in everything. After doing this, some water or even gunk on the baritone, so just make sure. Now, I don't have a valve brush. I actually lost my valve brush at band camp a few months ago. But if you have a valve brush, get in, get in all of those. Because like, I just stuck my finger in there and it's super nasty and gross and stuff. Because I don't have a valve brush. This won't work nearly as good because it's not a valve brush. Two of these snakes and put them all together. I'm gonna buy a new valve brush eventually, but this is literally all I can do right now. I'm literally just taking it, running it through. Now, I'm done with the baritone. Now all the slides run through. I would recommend doing is running water through all of these. Snake this out a little bit and then run water through it just to make sure. I just ran this through water, a bunch of foggy water come out of here. So foggy water means it's dirty. Now, this is the stuff I use. It's just regular box slide grease. Use whatever works best for you. Put them in one at a time. Some of these are easier to work in than others, like this. Put it in like this and then spin it around. Okay, wait, when you're done, put both of them in. Then get a towel, your towel from earlier, um, and just wipe any extra grease off. Because when you push it down, there might be some grease there, so just be glad of that. This one for the third valve. Now on a baritone, everything other than the tuning slide is pretty is always going to be in all the way, other than the first valve slide, which on some notes you might kick out a little bit, but really it's all the way in all the time. So uh, as you see, I'm snaking this. Now I'm going to go run it in some water. Turn on the water. I'm using hot water for this because I'm not touching the silver with it. But you fill it, see how that water is really foggy, and now it's clear? That's what I'm doing. So now we're going to do the same thing with this tuning, third valve tuning slide. Put some, also whenever you grease it, put it on the end, so when you work it in, it can go all the way down the slide. Because if you glob it on the top, you're just pushing metal in until it goes in all the way. I do them one at a time so you can spin it around. And yeah, we're gonna push that in. Functions very smooth. Wipe it off, off all the grease. No, I didn't really point this out, but make sure after every slide, you're wiping off all the old grease. Because that is actually a quite an important step. Snake it, run it under water. Now my second valve slide doesn't move that great. Okay, 
Okay, so now the last slide I'm doing, it doesn't matter what order you do these in, but I just did them in this order because that's the order I picked them up. Again, make sure you wiped off the grease. I already did that, but wipe off all the old grease. Same thing with on the instrument right here. Wipe off all the grease here first. Now, taking out the tuning slide might make this a little easier. This one should function the smoothest in case you have to kick it out for any notes. Now these things. I haven't found like a great way to clean them other than literally just like rubbing this thing in it. And these, I didn't mark which one they went in, but they're all identical, so it doesn't really matter. It is ideal that everything on a marching baritone, or any instrument for that matter, that everything comes off when you are cleaning it. Like caps are all right, slides especially, like I would even really recommend cleaning an instrument that much if you have slides that don't come out. Yeah, this one, it might be easier to take out that third valve slide, but I think I'm okay. I mean, it's not that hard to do. Now for the valves, put all springs in. You can put them all in at once, or you can do them one at a time. Okay, the stuff I use and highly recommend is blue juice valve oil. It just works best for me. So now, I'm just gonna grab a random valve. This is the third valve. I do it while it's in the casing. I don't know why a lot of people don't do this, because it wastes oil. You just oil it outside of the casing, and then watch it all drip off the valve. Yeah, valve should just fall. Have any resistance if everything is good. This one, as it's labeled, is the second valve. A valve should work without oil. Oil just makes them quieter. Now when I say quieter, I don't mean like, I mean the sound of it moving up and down. Last valve, I am all done. Everything moves freely. And that's it. That is how to clean a marching baritone doesn't take that long at all. I hope you enjoyed this video.